everybody. Let me turn the music off here. Welcome back to another episode of TLC Fishing. Uh, this video is going to be over the course of a couple days. Today I'm going to pick Logan up right now because he just got out of school and we're going to go do a little bit of scouting and we got some hunting planned for tomorrow. Uh, gonna see if we can get some ducks, maybe some geese. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, just wanted to intro this vlog here. Going to pick up Logan. Then uh, I'll get back to you guys when we picked him up. And uh, when we get to the spot. Sunday today. Um, Logan and I went hunting yesterday and we filmed a little bit, but we didn't have any luck. Um, so I don't know if we'll include any of the footage from yesterday in this episode, but uh, we're gonna go back at it today, this morning. It's about six o'clock now on Sunday morning, like I'm saying. Uh, Logan and I are going to meet at the farm, and uh, of course we're going to film, we're going to take you guys with you, uh, but it is cold, uh, it is about 30 degrees out, and the snow, there is snow falling, yeah, I'm headed to the farm now, like I said, going to meet up with Logan, and then, uh, I will talk to you guys once we meet up with him. Alright, so we made it to our first spot of today. Logan just got here. So we're just hanging out. Uh, it's not quite legal shooting time yet. And also it's really, really foggy. So, um, you know, once the sun comes up a little bit more, it should help to raise some of that fog. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna wait until shooting time comes, till uh, sun comes up, and then see see what we can get. Stay tuned. I just go over it? No. Nah. Oh, my shoulder, bro. So we were sitting here waiting for 
Right on us, right on us. We got one. My gun jammed. Go well, boys. I have no idea where this gun is going. Like, literally none. Literally held it right on him. So, as you probably just saw, we had two geese land at the pond we were at. And so, we snuck around the back side of the silo and we got to him. I whiffed three shots right in a row, which I. shooting clays and I was dead on but today I guess I'm today and yesterday actually when we were hunting was no bueno but Thomas got the one which was awesome and then we got the paddle boat the <laughs> we Jabo didn't film that over. no there was we about, should have filmed that <laughs> there was about 12 mice in the bottom of that boat when we flipped it over we went and got it it's in the back so we're gonna drive by the creek one more time see if there's anything down there. It's gonna be hard to tell since it's so foggy, but if there's something down there, we might try for it. But if not, it's getting to be about time to go. So we'll see what happens. All right, so uh, we're back here at the farm. Uh, this is like where the house is and all the equipment and everything. So we're done hunting for the day. Um, so we're just gonna kind of go over this weekend of hunting. I know we didn't film a whole lot, um, but we also didn't necessarily hunt for a long time. Uh, just kind of jumped from spot to spot. But, uh, yeah, so we'll go over what we got today. Today we got one goose here, which you guys saw. We got that on camera. So he's um, back here. Got him with the Charles Daly. Yeah, so what I was shooting, this is a 12-gauge Charles Daly pump action shotgun and then Logan what are you running I'm rocking the Mossberg 520 gauge the mule I gotta pattern it and see where it's shooting <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on man but yeah so like like you guys saw uh, this goose came in with another goose um, they landed I guess you guys didn't necessarily see that we talked about it so um, we were sitting up higher, but on like on the, the pond dike. on the pond dike, looking over a bean field, and uh, then we heard these geese coming um, from the south, and then they landed on the pond there. So we snuck around, and then that's where we turned the camera on when we were behind that silo. Um, so that's what we got today, just one. But for only seeing two, I guess it's not bad. Um, and then yesterday we filmed a little bit, um, didn't, we didn't get any birds yesterday, um, on camera, and then, so we hunted yesterday morning, and then we were done for the day, and then I actually was coming back out here to help my grandpa, um, we're gonna clean out a grain bin, and move the, move the corn, last year's corn, make room for this year's corn, and as I drove by the creek, uh, there was... I saw two geese sitting down at the creek, and so I didn't have my shotgun. I had just taken it out of my truck, but my grandpa brought his along. So I went and got that, and then uh, walked through. How far would you say that cornfield is? Probably 200, probably. 300 yards yeah. of cornfield. <laughs> Wet corn. Snuck up on them and then got them both down. So that was what I got yesterday. You got to use the gold hunter. Yep, yep. He's got a Browning semi-auto gold hunter, which is really nice. So. Yeah, nice, <laughs> nice sure that gun. Was a good time. So yep. So that was this weekend's little hunting adventure. I know it wasn't too much, but um, pheasant opens next weekend, we'll so be we'll be back for that, and we'll <clears throat> we'll bring the camera along, and uh, who knows, maybe we'll try and get some more geese next weekend. Yeah. Sound good. Yeah, sounds good. All right. See you in the next video. Yep.